So there's this great story that I like to tell about a village in the mountains of India where the villagers travel pretty far distances to get their supplies, food, and water. And along the way, there are often rest stops where they have stacked these stupas, these stacks of stones about the height of an average person. And so as the villagers are traveling by carrying their supplies, their burden on top of their head, they can stop at one of these rest stops and slide that burden off of the top of their head onto the stones and take a rest. So let's shift forward into a child's pose here. Right, place your forehead onto the mat, letting whatever's on the mind just slide off onto the mat. You can sink your hips down, yielding to gravity, just letting it all go into the mat, breathing in to the body, breathing into this moment. Good, now let's come up to child's pose here. I mean, come up to a tabletop, stack your shoulders over top of your wrists, spread the fingers wide, take circular motions, just anything round and round, warming up the wrists, warming up the hips and the shoulders and the arms. Just take some intuitive movements here. There's no wrong movements. Just noticing where the body can use some attention and sending your movements there. All right, and come back to a neutral tabletop. Tuck your toes, hover your knees a few inches up off the mat, gazes down, breathe. Press your palms down, feel your inner fire begin to spark. For two, for one, good. Lower your knees, inhale, drop the belly, gaze forward. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin. Continue taking cat cows here with your own breath, letting the breath guide the movements. Bringing as much of the body into the movements as possible, using the full breath, the full capacity of your breath as you move. Really pressing into the hands when you exhale, and pulling the chest forward when you inhale. Good. Now let's come back to a neutral tabletop. Hover your right foot and your left hand. Inhale, reach out nice and long. And exhale, bring the elbow to the knee. Inhale to send it out. And exhale, draw it in. Let's do two more, reaching out. And then bringing it in. Inhale it out long. And then lower it down. Switch sides, left foot, right hand. Inhale, extend, extend. Exhale, bring them together, find your balance. Inhale, stretch it out. And exhale, bring it in. Let's do two more, reaching. And then draw it in. Good, reaching out. And then lower it down. Let's take our hands, another hand's length distance. Shift forward into cobra. Inhale. Exhale, press the hips back, hug the hands down. Lengthen through the arms. Let the inhale take you forward. Moving with the breath, exhale, presses your hips back. Inhale, brings you forward. Do another cycle like that. And then when you come forward, tuck your toes, press back to a down dog. From down dog, I want you to bend your right knee, hug your chest to your thigh, press into your hands, especially your left hand. And then switch, bring your left knee to your chest, press into your right hand, and then switch, driving the opposite heel down, pulsing the chest into the knee. You can follow my pace and rhythm or your own, so choose your own adventure today. 
Good. Now coming back to down dog, come up onto your tippy toes and then gracefully step your feet up to your hands. Halfway lift, find a flat back. And exhale, slight bend in the knees, just sway the torso side to side. Good. To neutral, press into your heels, root to rise, roll up the spine, circling the arms up overhead, bringing the hands together and down to your heart. Feet are parallel. Nice alignment of the spine. Take a moment to bring an intention to mind for your practice today. What brings you back to yoga? Good. We're going to do Dharma Mitra Sun Salutations to begin today's practice. Inhale up, full extension. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step your right foot back, low lunge. Hold the breath, step your left foot back. Exhale, lowering all the way down or hugging the elbows into Chaturanga. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, down dog. Pause for three breaths. So in that vinyasa transition, you can always take the knees down and come to cobra. Or you can do the full chaturanga to up dog transition. Okay. So here, no leg lift. Inhale your right foot up, low lunge. Exhale, left foot in fold, uttanasana. Inhale, roots rise, circle the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Left side, full extension. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, your left foot back, low lunge. Right foot, and exhale down. Inhale, broadens the collar. And exhale, you press your hips back. Three breaths. Really expand through your joints here. Press your hips up high. Find that mountain peak shape. Next inhale takes your left foot forward. Low lunge. Right foot up and fold. Roots arise, full extension. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to the heart. That was round one. We'll do two more. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale your right foot back. Left foot. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Tuning into your breath here. What does your breath sound like? And what does it feel like? <sighs> Inhale your right foot directly forward. Exhale, left foot meets it. <sighs> Inhale, roots rise. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, left side, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, your left foot back. Right foot, plank. Exhale, it's a low plank. Inhale, shine your heart. Down dog. So we do the left and the right sides to balance not just the hemispheres of the body, but the material and the spiritual, the masculine, and the feminine. Inhale, brings your left foot forward. Exhale, your right foot up. Inhale, Ardva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to the heart. Good, one more round. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right foot back. Left foot, and lower. Inhale, shine the heart. Exhale, hips back. Good. You can have a slight bend in the knees if that helps you get your back real flat. Inhale your right foot up. Left foot meets it. And roots arise. Hands to your heart. Last side, inhale, reach the arms up. 
Exhale, fold. Inhale your left foot back. Right foot. Exhale, down. Inhale, forward. Press back. Letting everything else fade out but your breath and your body. Next inhale takes your left foot up. Right foot in fold. Press down, roots to rise. Take the arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Take a moment here, take a breath. And let's reach up. And hips back, heart forward. Let's take a ragdoll pose here. Take hold of opposite elbows. Take your feet a bit wider. Bend into the knees. Sway the head side to side. Shake the head, no problem. Nod the head, yes please. Then release the hands to the mat. Step back to a plank pose. Pause and plank here. Pressing your fingers down. Nice straight spine, straight legs. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Let's do that three more times. Inhale to plank. Exhale, mountain peak. Inhale to plank. Exhale, bend your knees a bit. Get your hips up real high. One more time to plank pose. And then exhale, down dog. Good. Shift forward to plank. And then lower down real slowly. Hug those elbows in. High plank to low plank. And then take it all the way down to the ground. Shalambhasana locust pose here. Hover your hands. Hover your feet. Get them high. Get them high. Inhale, exhale, press everything down, tuck your tailbone, press your hips down, lift the chest up. Keep your core tight. And then with an exhale, lower one cheek down to the mat. Take a breath. Hover everything up again, float the hands, float the feet. Inhale, exhale, press it all down, reach the chest up. You really want to sort of squeeze your glutes here, tuck the tailbone. Keep that real tight so you can straighten the arms if that feels good for you. And then let's lower the opposite, opposite cheek down. Take a breath. Good, point your hands towards your feet along your side. And then inhale, float everything up. And float your hands in front of you, reach forward, fly to the left, fly to the right, Superman, fly to the left, and fly to the right, Superwoman, yes, stack your palms underneath your forehead, lower them down, rock your heels left and right here, release the lower back. Now rock your heels in and out, just in and out. Now take your palms underneath of your shoulders, press back to a child's pose for just a breath. You can always come back here at any point in time in our practice. And then shift forward to a cobra pose, inhale, tuck your toes, down dog. Now from down dog, let's bend our knees and then straighten the legs. Bend the knees, straighten the legs. And if you want to take some leapfrogs with me, you can gaze up and then hop. Just catch some hang time. Okay, if you just want to work with bending the legs, bending the knees and straightening the legs, go for that. Otherwise, maybe you take a couple more leapfrogs. And then let's all bend our knees, gaze forward. And make our way up, halfway lift, and fold. Roots rise, take the arms all the way up, and take the hands to the heart. Good. Float the arms up, 
And exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Plant the hands, bend the knees, press and float or step. Vinyasa. Coming to down dog. Now let's take a balance challenge here. Let's hover the right foot and the left hand. If you, gotta, if you wanna tap that left hand, all right. If you can float them, take some pulses. Pulse them up. And then lower your right foot, reach your left hand towards that right leg, gazing under your right armpit. Nice. And breathe. And then take your left hand back to the top of the mat here. And let's do the opposite side. Float your left foot, float your right hand. Working with your sense of balance. All right. And lower that left foot. Take your right hand back, wrapping around the outside of the shin. Take a couple more easy breaths here. Good, and then take your right hand back to the top of the mat. Let's bend the knees, look forward, inhale. Exhale, engage your bandhas, float up. Halfway lift, and fold. Let's rise up, circle the palms up, take the arms up high. Let's take the feet wide here, toes out, heels in 45 degrees. Let's bring our hands together as we exhale lower down into a squat. Inhale, straighten the legs, circle the arms up, nice range of motion. Exhale, bring the hands down together, get low. Inhale, reach in the arms. And exhale, get low. Good, let's do two more of those. Inhale up. Then exhale and get low. Inhale. And get low. Good, keep your hips low here. Take your palms, face them up, shoulder height. Eagle pose. Feel the energy drawing up the spine, rising up from the palms, and breathe. Two more full breaths. Good, inhale, straighten the legs, bring your feet together, and fold forward. Let's take a halfway lift. And then let's sweep the arms back and take a chair pose. Inhale, exhale, halfway lift, flat back. Inhale, chair. And halfway lift, chair pose. Exhale, flat back, take the arms back. Inhale, sweep them up, chair pose, bend the knees. Once more, halfway lift and chair. Good, inhale, sit a bit deeper. Exhale, straighten the legs and fold. Halfway lift, plant your hands, bend the knees, step or float, vinyasa. Inhale your right foot up and step it up to the top of the mat, rise into warrior one. Open up to warrior two, front knee tracking the same direction as those front toes. And shift forward to side angle. Front hand to the mat, block or thigh, top arm by the ear. You can take that top hand behind your back for a bind. If you wanna place your Front elbow inside of the knee, hand to the heart, gaze up, draw your top shoulder back, or take another bind. And then windmill the arms open, flip your front palm, reverse warrior, deep inhale. Exhale to frame your front foot, riding the breath down, step back, vinyasa. Up dog, and down dog. Left side, inhale the left foot up. Exhale, step it forward, rise up. And open to warrior two. 
draw that support energetically from your feet up your legs through your torso extending it fingertip to fingertip and then shift forward side angle pressing into that knife edge of your back foot reach these fingers up and go for that bind whichever bind you want to take here we've got a half bind we've got a three quarters bind Okay, or a full bind. Take another breath. And then windmill open to warrior two. Inhale, flip your front palm, scoop it in, reverse it. Gaze up. Take a deep breath in. And ride your exhale all the way down through your flow. Nice, yogis. Let's go into the next series. Inhale your right foot up. <clears throat> Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, send it back. Exhale to your right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale to your nose. Inhale, send it up. Exhale to your left elbow. Straighten it long. Spin that back heel down and reach up. Rock star pose. With an exhale, take the hand down, inhale, three-legged dog. And step it up. Rise to warrior one. Now we're going to inhale, straighten the leg, reach up, pivot and turn, warrior two, the back of the mat. Facing to the back of the mat, straighten your front leg, reach, cock and tilt the pelvis, triangle pose. Extending the crown long. And bend into that knee, take this front palm up, reverse warrior. Then with an exhale, take your hands down inside that front foot for lizard pose. Now you can hang out here and get low, rock back and forth or take circles. I like to take my left hand around, bend that back knee, take hold of it, open the chest. Yeah. Wendy's going for that flying lizard. That's a super fun one. Choose your own lizard adventure. Hold that for another breath. And then join me in a plank. Still facing the back of the mat. Take your transition. Meet me in down dog. Good, inhale your left foot up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three legs. Exhale to your left elbow. Inhale it up. Exhale, you take your knee to your nose and you send it back. Breathe in deeply and then take your knee to your right elbow. Fall in triangle. Pressing your hips up. You are power and balance embodied right now. Breathe. Inhale, exhale the hand down, inhale the foot up. Exhale, you step it forward, warrior one. Set it up. Good, straighten the leg, pivot and turn, warrior two to face the front of your mat. Straighten the front leg, draw the hips back, reach and hinge, triangle pose. Lengthen both sides of your torso. And then bend into that knee again, reverse it. Inhale. And then take your hands down inside the front foot, lizard pose. Take whichever variation you like, get low. Take this flying lizard if you wanna wrap the foot around the top of the arm. Or if you wanna lower that back knee, reach back and take hold of the foot. It's a fun option to get a nice quad stretch in. And take another full breath here. And come back to plank. High plank to low plank. Shine the heart. 
And come to down dog. Let's take a nice breath together, breathing in. And sigh it out. Let's take one more like that, breathe in fully. And let it go. Good, bend the knees, look forward in yoga and in life. With the exhale, float up, halfway lift. And fold. Good, sweep the arms, bend the knees, chair pose, inhale, exhale, bring the hands together and stand. Take a moment, take a breath. Let's sweep the arms back, take a chair pose. Inhale, sit a bit deeper. Exhale, heels down, fold. Halfway lift. Bend the knees, press and float back. Vinyasa. Coming to down dog. Inhale, your right foot up. Bend the knee, point the toe. Square the shoulders down. Inhale it a bit higher. Exhale, step it up. Warrior one. Open to warrior two. Lean forward, side angle. Power up, reach your bottom arm in line with the top arm. Laser straight lines, take a breath. And then with the exhale, twist to your right. Stack the shoulders, back heel is up. Driving through. And we're gonna take a Big step back with that top foot, Vashistasana on the left. Option to lower a leg or to float that top foot up. Inhale and exhale, flow through your transition. From down dog, let's inhale the left foot up and high, bend the knee, stack the hip. Inhale, get it a bit higher. And exhale, step it up. Rise up. And open to warrior two. Side angle. Get that top arm real straight. Send your bottom arm up in line with it for power. Inhale. Exhale your right hand down as you twist to your left. Driving that back, heel through, a nice straight leg. Hug your hips in. And then big step back with that front foot, Vashistasana. All modifications and variations are welcome. Inhale. And exhale, take your flow. Take three full steady breaths in down dog, letting everything else fade out but your practice. Bend your knees, prepare, and make your way up. Halfway lift and fold. Roots rise, full extension. Hands to the heart. Take a breath, find your balance. Sweep the arms, chair pose. Inhale, sit a bit deeper. Exhale, full fold. Halfway lift. Press and flow. Down dog. Inhale your right foot up, bend the knee, stack the hip. Option to take a flip. Take your feet parallel, get your hips real high. Oh yeah, let me, let me crab walk around to you guys. All right, we're gonna high five on three. Ready? One, two, three. And plant that hand, big step around and up to the top of the mat. I want you to stay here, stay down. Point your left toes off to the left so your back foot squares the short edge of the mat. We're gonna rise right up to warrior two. Windmill the arms open. 
All right. Now, remember your intention that we said in the beginning of class here. And take a bow in your front hand. I got a bow. I got a whole set of bows for class. So just wrap your hand around that bow and it'll be there. Take an arrow out of your quiver. We're going to release our intention into the universe. So knock that arrow. Feel the weight of the bow. Inhale. Draw it back. Feel the weight of the bowstring. Take aim and release with a nice sound effect. Pew! Good. Flip your front palm. What we send out is sure to come back. So reverse the warrior to receive and then come to side angle. Ground down. Send that energy down. And then we're going to power up into a bind here. So come into a full bind. We're going to move towards Bird of Paradise. So if you want to find a bind and hold it, or follow me here, catch hands underneath the thigh, step the left foot up, shift your weight to the left, and raise that right foot up. If you can straighten the right leg, go for it. All right, take another breath. And then slowly lower it down. Step your left foot back. Windmill the arms open. And we'll take Sky Archer, straighten the front leg, bring the palms together overhead, gaze up. Exhale to Warrior Two, lengthen your stance, lengthen your stance. Inhale, Sky Archer. Exhale to the lunge, yeah, inhale. We lengthen our stance so the knee doesn't go past the ankle. Good, inhale, take it up. Exhale, bend into the knee to the lunge, inhale. Exhale. This series is all about flight, so flap your wings with me up and then down. Let's do two more. And inhale, Sky Archer, and hold. Wrap your thumbs around each other. Point the fingers up, point them up, point them up, point them real high. Inhale. Exhale, twist to your right, spin that back heel up. Revolved crescent lunge. Draw that top shoulder back. Strong, long lines. Step your back foot up to meet your front foot. Prayer twist. You got it. You got it. Yes. Nice moves. And hang out here or come to a side crow. Take your hands down off that right side here. Stacking your right leg on top of your elbows. And then shift your weight forward. Option to take that left leg up and point it up high like Wendy's doing there. Nice work. Yeah, shift the weight. Nice, Molly. Just get a bit of hang time there, playing with it. Take another breath here, play around with that. And then we'll take the hands in front here. We're going to come to Bakasana, standard crow pose, wrapping those knees around the elbows, or you can put them into the armpits here. Inhale, and with an exhale, press and shoot the legs back. Plank pose. Down dog or vinyasa. <sighs> Inhale your left foot up high. Bend the knee, stack the hip. Option to take a flip. Press those hips up high. Tilt the head back so you can check out your camera. And option to share a class high five here. Ready? One, two, three. Yes. Yes. Beautiful work, yogis. All right. Plant the hand. Big step around and up. Stay down here in your low lunge for a second. Ground your back heel. Point the toes out. Spin the arms open. Warrior two. All right. Now hold on to that bow. And visualize it materializing. Hold it real strong. Take an arrow out, representing your attention. Knock that intention arrow. Inhale, draw it back. Feel the weight. Ground down into your feet. Inhale, take aim. Exhale, release with a sound effect. Pew. And flip the palm. Reverse the warrior to receive. And take it to side angle. Ground down into your side angle. Send your energy down. Feel the support of your foundation. And we're going to wrap that top arm around the back. Find your, the bind of your choice or move through Bird of Paradise with me catching hands, stepping up, shifting your weight. 
raising the left knee. And breathe. And let's slowly float it down. Step that right foot back. Windmill the arms open, warrior two. Take a breath. Sky archer, straighten the legs, bring the palms together, gaze up. Exhale to that warrior two. Lengthen your stance up again here. Get, it, get your stance real long. And then move with the breath, inhaling it up. Exhale to the lunge. Good, inhale it up. And exhale to that warrior two shape, gazing forward. Inhale. And exhale. Good, and let's fly. So inhale and exhale. Let's take a couple more with the breath. Now inhale up to Sky Archer and hold. Wrap your thumbs together. Point your fingers up real high. Get them high, get them high. Take a deep inhale to prepare. Exhale, twist to your left, hook that elbow, drive through your back heel. Now step your back foot up to meet your front foot, prayer twist, keep those knees in line. They're gonna wanna come out of line, so you keep them in line. All right, then option to take that prayer twist, you want your left hip to your left elbow, your left knee to your right elbow, and then shift your weight forward. You can you totally use your head as a kickstand as an option. Take another breath to play around with that. Good, set that down. Face the front of the mat, and we'll come into a crow pose on this side. We're gonna inhale into crow and exhale and shoot back. All right, so inhale, shift forward, set it up. Set it up when you're ready, take that inhale, and then shoot back. And take your transition. Bend the knees, inhale, look up. Exhale, make your way. Halfway lift. And fold. Full extension. Raise the arms up. And take it to your heart. Let's bring the left knee up here. Take your right ankle to your right thigh. Sit those hips back into a figure four. Take another breath here. Press those hips back. Feel that side stretch. And then straighten the leg. Bring the knee up. Send the foot back. Reach the arms up. High lunge. Crescent lunge. Inhale. Exhale, lean 45 degrees. Keep your arms up by the ears. Inhale up. Exhale, twist to your left, take your arms out in a T. I mean, twist to your right, whoops. How did you guys know what I was talking about? Inhale up, exhale, lean forward 45 degrees, keep your arms up. Inhale up, exhale a T, twist to your right. Good, inhale up, lean forward. Inhale up, twist to your right. Inhale up. Lean forward. Come to warrior two. Straighten those front legs, reach the arms up. Inhale, make, take your feet parallel. We're gonna come into a wide-legged forward fold. So with an exhale, take the hips back, take the heart down. And if you wanna come into the inversion here, if that's within your practice currently, go ahead and go for it. Otherwise, walk your hands further back, press the toes down, just a slight bend in the knees as you tilt your tailbone up and breathe. Then walk your hands around to your front foot. Take your front foot, point it forward. Low lunge, get those hips low, get those hips low. And then step your back foot up to your front foot and fold. Roots arise, take the arms all the way up, inhale. Exhale, hands to your heart. 
Inhale, reach your right knee up. And then step it back. Crescent warrior, balancing your strength and your stability. Inhale, exhale, lean forward 45 degrees, extending through the fingers. Inhale up, exhale, T-twist to your left. Inhale up, exhale, lean. Inhale, exhale to your left, reach long, fingertip to fingertip. Inhale, chest forward, and lean. Inhale up, exhale, twist to your left, get low and reach. Inhale up, lean forward, spin that back heel down, find your warrior two. Inhale, take the arms up, turn your front toe parallel. Exhale, take your hands behind your back. Draw your shoulder blades together with an inhale. With an exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Take your hands up and back in that bind. Nice work. Relaxing through the neck, letting the head hang heavy here. Keep those arms drifting back. And breathe. Good. You can release the bind. Take your left hand under your gaze. Reach your right hand up. Squeeze your hips together. Press your tailbone back. Take your right hand down. Left hand up. Twist to your left. Inhale. And switch. And switch. Good. Take it down. Now walk both of your hands towards that left foot. Point it forward. Low lunge. Get low. Back legs real long and strong. Inhale, exhale, back foot comes up to meet your front foot in a fold. And then root to rise, roll on up your spine. Let's take some shoulder shrugs. Take your shoulders in some circles, take them up, let them down, and switch directions. Good, now let's take a tree pose, ground into your right foot, take that left foot to the ankle calf or the thigh, and now if you want to take your peace, foot, peace fingers around that big toe and stretch it out longer to the side, you can go for it. That's a rather challenging one there. Choose your own adventure. Growing your branches if you're in that tree pose. Find your dristy, your singular point of focus. When we have a, a single point, when all of our concentration is aligned, like it is with an arrow, then we can go so much further. And with an exhale, let's lower that down and shake it out, shake it out. And stand firmly on your left foot. Take your right foot up. If you want to take hold of the, the big toe again and take it out long in front of you and then out to the side, go for it. Or if you want to find your balance here in Anjaniasana, I mean, Anjali Mudra. <laughs> and then grow your branches and sway here. Sway your hands left and right. Strong trees sway in the breeze. So, again, working with your sense of balance. And then when you're ready, take an inhale and an exhale and lower it down. Let's take the hips in circles here. So stand, stand with the feet parallel, get a nice firm foundation, and then take the hips in some circles here. And try to be even around the perimeter of the circle. Okay, just notice if there are any areas where you can slow down and bring a bit more sensation and switch directions. Yeah. Yeah, good, good. Let's come to the, the top of our mat here. Let's get real light on our toes, and we're going to bounce. So some of that, that tension, some of that lactic acid that we've built up, we're just going to shake it out. So shake the shoulders, shake the hands, the wrists, let the fingers shake. Bouncing the heels, bouncing the hips, releasing the hips. Just notice where you may be holding tension in the area, in the body, and just bring the shakes, bring the bounce to that area so that as much of the body as possible 
is bouncing here. All right, take a few more. Good. Now let's let's start to take it down to the ground, okay? So let's inhale the arms up. Exhale, rain the fingers down, full fold. Halfway lift. Plant the hands, press and float, or step back, make your way into down dog. We're going to find a pigeon here. So take your right foot up high, inhale. Exhale, bring that knee forward. If you want to take a block under the thigh like I do, go for it. You can tense your fingertips. Shine the heart forward with an inhale. And then with an exhale, cross the forearms on top of each other. Rest the head down and breathe. Yielding to gravity. <sighs> Take a couple more full breaths here. <sighs> and then tuck the back toe. Send your right foot up high. Give it some shakes, take some circles. All right, then lower it down and reach your left foot up. Take it high and then bring the knee forward. Set up for pigeon on this side, tent your fingers, proudly shine your chest. And then exhale, humbly take it down. Letting each breath Begin to soften through the ligaments, soften through the tendons. They take some time to really begin to open up and actually actually stretch deeper to build your flexibility and begin to let you go deeper into the stretch. So we'll take a few more breaths here. Really enjoying the breath. And tuck your back toe. Take that left foot up nice and high. Circle it, sway it, shake it. And then lower it down. Good. Lower your knees. Let's take child's pose. Right back to where we began. Everything comes full circle. So if we can find equanimity, we can maintain our composure, whether we are still and deep in these static poses, or when we are really moving through some powerful vinyasas, we can stay with the breath. So holding space for equanimity. Good. As you're ready, let's walk the hands in and sit back. Take the feet out in front of us. We'll come onto the back. Press your hips up high. Press the hips up high, right into a bridge. And then lower it down, rolling down the spine. Okay, take a breath. Now press those hips up again, interlace the hands, roll over top of the arms. Press the chest back and the belly up. And breathe. Perfect, releasing the arms, softening the chest, roll down the spine. Rock your knees left and right. And point the knees straight up. 
go up into a bridge, or if you want to take a wheel, you can take your palms next to your ears, press them down, come onto the top of your head, and then go on and rise up, letting the head tilt back. And as you're ready, tucking the chin, coming down to your shoulders and rolling down the back. Good. Now, before we go into supine twist, if there's any other move that you want to take, if you want to take uh, like a shoulder stand or if you want to take another bridge or a wheel, go ahead and go for that. If you'd like to join me in this modified legs up the wall with the block under the sacrum, that's a great option. And we'll be here for another three to five breaths. Good, and let's slowly lower that down. If you took the shoulder stand, go ahead and take a quick fish pose by taking the hands underneath the seat, drawing the elbows in, pressing the chest up, pointing through the toes actively pressing the chest up and then let's lower down and bring the knees into the chest let's take the knees in some circles here however you want to circle your knees go for it and then take them in the opposite direction Awesome, now bring them together and take your knees over to your right. Gaze is over your left supine twist. If you want to cross one leg over top of the other or place a block underneath of your thighs, go for it. The key here is to soften the shoulders down. And enjoy the expansion of the lungs. I was always, always fascinated by the way that the breath felt in this position. There's a certain expansion of the side body that you just can't get in any other asana. So breathing deeply into that. And as you're ready, bring your knees into your chest, lift the sacrum up, squeeze them in, and level that out. Then take them off to the left and reach to your right. We'll take five deep full breaths. And let your last breath be super deep and let the exhale be real long and smooth. Good. Now bring your knees up into your chest. Now let's take a closing happy baby, holding on to the soles of the feet, rocking back and forth. Just taking some rocks. And then taking the feet out long to the mat, reaching one out, then the other. And opening up into Shavasana, final relaxation pose. Really take up some space here. Reach your palms up. Find yourself in the midline of your body awareness. And take this time to be present to the afterglow of the practice. Noticing what's alive in your experience in any and all of the senses. Just noticing.
And because certain aspects of that practice were pretty vigorous and intense, the body's going to want to stay tight to protect. So let's bring a smile to the face to let the body know that it's a good time to relax. Mentally scanning through the body, noticing where there is some tension. And with an exhale, just allowing that to dissolve. And if you notice that the mind has drifted away, just give that its moment, give that a unacknowledgement, and gently come back to the breath and to the body and to this moment. So let's begin to deepen the breath here. Stay relaxed, but expand the lungs out in three dimensions. And let's take three really deep breaths, breathing into the belly, the chest, and the collar. Deep three-part breath. Then real smooth ujjayi exhale. Do two more like that. And slowly and mindfully wiggle the fingers and the toes. Point and flex the toes to rock on the heels, bringing some slight motion to the whole body. And as you're ready, following me, you're moving at your own pace. Bring the knees into your chest. Wrap your arms gently around the shins. Receiving this appreciation from your body for taking it to the yoga mat once again. How awesome it is that we can do this. And then you can rock over to one side. Take a breath. And then come into a seated pose. Sit up tall, draw the shoulders back. Noticing how you may feel different since we began this practice. Just take a few more breaths to continue to relax in the seated pose. Awesome. Let's take a breath and then an ohm together. Exhale fully. Take the deepest breath in yet today. And sigh it out. 
And let's inhale for an om. Uh, together at the heart the light the love the peace the power and the balance in me salutes the light the love the peace the power and the balance in you yoga friends you go on and shine namaste